Okay, so this is, we've got several students absent. This is 8-7, and I'm already on page 359. Now's not a good time to do that. Thank you. So I'm looking at the guided practice on the top of page 359, and it says, explain how you would multiply five, uh, five times two and one half. Well, there's two things we need to do to be able to multiply those numbers together. First thing you need to do, and most of you would know this by now, is you've got to turn five into a fraction. You just put a one underneath it. Then to turn two and a half, which is a mixed number, into an improper fraction, you multiply two times two, which is four, plus one is five, and the denominator stays the same. Now you could multiply those two numbers together and give me an answer, whatever that would be. So I do want you guys to do, um, I wonder if you do number one. I'm not worried about two and three. And I'm not worried about, is that still recording, I hope? Yep, good. I'm not worried about um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How nice is that? But I do want you guys to do um, yeah, I want you to do 10 through 20. So I want you to do all those. And we'll do a, a couple of them. Actually, we are going to estimate. And we'll just do that together. Okay, shh. So in the estimation, uh, 2 and 1, 6 is pretty close to 2. 4 and a half, we could just leave that as 4 and a half. Well, what's 2 times 4? 2 times 4 is 8. What's 2 times a half? That's 1. So the estimation would be 9 for number 10. 3 quarters is pretty close to 1. 8 and a half. We'll just leave it as eight and a half. What's one times eight and a half? Eight and a half. There's your estimation for number 11. Now number 12, one and one eighth is pretty close to one. Three and a third is close to three. What's the estimation? Three. Three. Five and a quarter, that's really close to three. Two-thirds, that's probably closer to one. It is closer to one. What's three times one? Three. There's your estimation. This is easy. Okay, estimating is really pretty quick, pretty easy. It's either going to be a one or a half or zero. Three and a quarter is close to three. Six is six. What's three times six? There's your estimation. Fifteen and... I'm sorry, five and one third is close to five. Three is three. What's three times five? There's your estimation. Two and three eighths, that's closer to two. What's two times four? Four and one eighth, that's close to four. Five and a half, we'll just leave it as five and a half. What's four times five? 20. 20. What's four times a half? Two, add them together, what do you get? 22. So here we're adding. Um, I'm not going to worry about estimating with 18, 19, and 20. So I've already given you the answers for estimating in 10 through 17. So that's good. But erase points because you're just blurting out. So... Um, but it does say to find each product, and I do want you to do that. In other words, you need to find the answer to each one of these. So, um, with each one of these, you're going to be adding or subtracting, and then you're going to be multiplying them together. And I'll probably do a homework help video after school today, but I think most of you guys could do these. Okay? And then the next page, oh, 
I want you to do 21. 22, 23. Well, look at 24 for a moment here. I do want you to do it. How can you use multiplication to find three and three fifths plus three and three fifths plus three and three fifths? Well, what would that be? That would be three and three fifths times three. How would you convert that? 3 times 5 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So it's 18 over 5 times, what do we do with the 3? Becomes 3 over 1. That's how you would solve it. So do 24. Uh, I want you to do 25. Um, 26. It does say about how long is that bridge. So doesn't have to be exact, but you should get pretty close. Within, let's say, um, let's say within 500 feet. Within 500 feet. And then you could do 27 also. And I'm not worried about 28 and 29. 27, Patty spent three and a half times as much as Sandy on their shopping trip. If Sandy spent 20, 50, how much did Patty spend? Well, we did a problem like this this morning. Um, I think I showed you guys how to do it. Remember the decimals, and I think that's why a lot of you got one of those problems from the weekend homework wrong. And this is going to be three... 0.5 and you're going to multiply these together and remember you're going to be moving the decimal one two places and one so it's going to be three places and make sure you keep everything lined up because if you don't you're going to make a mistake and then don't forget to move the decimal three places over when you have your final answer okay all right 